The U.S. defeated Iran Tuesday in one of the most anticipated games of the 2022 Soccer World Cup. The men's national team will now head to the knockout stage of the tournament after beating Iran 1-0 in their last group stage match. Christian Pulisic scored the only goal of the game he left with an injury, but posted this picture from the hospital saying, quote, I'll be ready Saturday, don't worry. That's when the U.S. takes on the Netherlands. Our Roxana Saberi has more from Doha, Qatar. With a header and a sweep of the foot, the U.S. hung on to its hopes at the World Cup, defeating Iran 1-0. The bad news, goal scorer Christian Pulisic was taken to the hospital after the game with an abdominal injury, but he posted a photo online saying he'll be ready for the next game. Meanwhile, his team advances to the next round of the tournament for the first time since 2014. The face-off kicked off ignited by patriotism, passion and politics. Before the match, Iran's players mostly mumbled the national anthem of the Islamic Republic of Iran. They had stayed silent in their first match in a sign of solidarity with anti-regime protests shaking Iran. And some Iranian-American fans told me they opted to support the Stars and Stripes tonight because they feel Iran's regime does not represent them, while others said they'd be happy no matter who won. Inside, some spectators held up signs spelling out Masa Amini, whose death in Iranian police custody sparked the unrest. Then security appeared to intervene. Still, many people here told us they came simply for the soccer. The U.S. plays the Netherlands on Saturday. Iran's team, which stayed competitive despite extraordinary pressures back at home, has now been eliminated from this World Cup. John? Roxana Saberi in Qatar, thank you. For more on what we saw of the game, I have Alejandro Bedoya here with me. He's a former U.S. men's national team player and currently plays for the Philadelphia Union in Major League Soccer. So before we start talking about the game, let's let the president talk about the game. He was watching, uh, and let's pause and hear what the president had to say. USA, USA, that's a big game, man. When I spoke to the coach and the players, I said, you can do this. They went, ah, oh, they're going to, they did it. God love them. Anyway, just thought you might want to hear. Taking his uh, chance there to be a sportscaster, what did you think of the game? Yeah, I thought it was amazing. I just I recall a memory from Brazil in 2014 where I had the opportunity to represent the United States and, and pre vice president at that time came into our locker room and, and congratulated us after a win against Ghana. But no, the game today was was thrilling. It was the last 10, 15 minutes, I'm not going to lie, I got, I got really tense. I got really, really nervous. Uh, but they were able to, you know, get the result that they were looking for to get the victory. Uh, I got to give them a lot of credit because obviously there was a lot of distractions, as, as you might be well, of, well aware of, and, and, but they managed to get the win and hold on. Tell me about the distractions. As a player, how much does that kind of thing get in your head when you're when you're playing? Yeah, look, I think there's distractions all over, being in fact that who was hosting it in the tournament. Um, but I think Tyler Adams, I got to give him a lot of credit because you know he showed why he's the captain, captain of our right. country, of the team, uh, with his uh, the way he handled the the com press conference yesterday. And as a player, you know, I think these players they grew up in the age of social media now, so they're used to all the noise, and, and it's just important just to block out the noise. At the end of the day, you focus, you get the X and X's and O's, the game plan, and I think they they they've been playing magnificently this tournament and they showed again today that they could put some good quality soccer together and, and you know win for you when is the moment in a match when you know okay it's on is it when you first put your foot on grass is it when the ball is in play what for you is the moment where you suddenly whatever's in your head is gone and you're playing <laughs> yeah no certainly you start out when you get out of the tunnel and you just see all the flashes going off because all the reporters and the media that's in there uh you hear your national anthem and you feel this immense pride you know just hearing president joe biden just shout usa usa you know you really feel that there's a tingling sensation that goes on but i'll tell you once that whistle blows you completely zone out i know in, my, in the world cup that i played in there was all these vuvuzelas and all this noise yeah. but you, you you don't really hear that at yeah. all you're just so focused and tuned into the match how about the players what do you think it was like for the players on the field you know because there's all this politics swirling around do they do they try and psych each other out with that or do they just recognize that they are brothers in sport and they just play the game yeah i took i was looking into that you know for this game particularly uh, but no i think you just 
it's two teams going at it, trying to do their best to represent themselves in a good manner, fight for their country to win the game, you know, represent their families, themselves, and, and their country. So you take immense pride, and I just saw two, two teams going at it, you know, even between uh, in the game, flow of the game, you see injuries and tackles, but, you know, guys lifting each other up. And, of course, it's competitive, right? There's right. moments you shove and push and all that, but, no, it's just at the end of the day, it's a game. Christian Pulisic. Um scored the winning goal in a, you can describe it, but um, how much uh, he's been called Captain America, how much does his injury um, possibly um, hurt the team uh, for the next match? Yeah, Christian Pulisic, he's been a key player for us, one of our star players, uh, playing for one of the best teams and biggest clubs in the world. And uh, he came through for us again, yeah, clutch, you know, scoring a big, big goal. Um, but the whole goal, I was just so impressed with the build-up play. You know, this is the way that Greg Berhalter, the, new, the coach, wanted us to play. You know, it starts, the whole replay didn't show the full play, uh, the highlight of the goal, but it started from our keeper, Matt Turner, kicking it long, a good touch, bringing it down, playing it back to, to Tim Weah, and then cutting, getting across to Weston McKinney. And and he made a great ball diagonal to uh, Sergino Des, who had an incredible game and, and had made a great run. And just a heads up play, literally, you know, he yeah, played it back with, with his head. Right. And Christian just, you know, getting that willingness that, that you know, with this uh, sacrifice, his sacrifice body, his for body it, you know, yeah. whatever he sacrificed, I'm not yeah. sure yet. But I, I think I, you saw the post, you referenced it. I think he'll be fine. And, yeah. you know, he's a big time player. Handicap the match against the Netherlands, Netherlands for us. What's that going to be like? Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Netherlands, one of the best teams in the world with some great players playing at big clubs um, obviously at this stage it's it's even better teams that were in the group stage you know these yeah. uh, it's gonna be a tough one but I think I, I saw the opening match against Ecuador uh, mm -hmm. that Netherlands had and Ecuador actually was a better team they had the better chances so I'm confident that the US will watch that game and see how they can exploit Netherlands so uh, but I, I need them to score more than one goal because I think that's what it's gonna take to, to beat a team like the Netherlands and, and they've struggled to, to score more and if they score more than one then we can all calm down when we're watching yes we don't please have to be so nervous <laughs> Alejandro Bedoya, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.